from your grave. Hey guys, Canadian Zangief back again, and it's finally happened. The CD has finally come back. Um, maybe not in the form that you know I was we were originally hoping for, but it's got some life in it, you know, that's for sure. And, you know, they couldn't have come back in a classier way. So, for those that aren't aware, the CD was a, uh, kind of like a, a Retron 5 type system that was supposed to come out last year, um, except it was based around all the disc-based games, like, you know, PlayStation 1, Sega CD, Turbo Graphic uh, 16 CD, uh, PC Engine CD, etc., etc. And, uh, you know, it, it had a really strong following. It fell a little bit short on its crowdfunding, so it never, never happened last year, you know, to my dismay. Um, it, it, some may say that it's been, it's competing with the Polymega, and uh, I think it's apples to oranges kind of thing. Um, Polymega is, is gonna be a modular kind of system where this is going to be more of a streamlined. Um, so, talking about what they did to come back, um, I've been pestering them for a while um, because I, I, I'm an avid fan, you know. I, I'd watch all their reveals and all of their demos and everything like that. So I got in touch with the, uh, the developers for it and they had, it ended up, blah, 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 ended up uh, letting me doing some playtesting on a Windows-based build for the CD. Um, that being said, you're able to actually place in your physical discs for your Sega Saturn, PS1, TurboGrafx-16, PC Engine CD, PC Engine CD, Sega CD, Mega CD, you know, even 3DO CDI, uh, Jaguar, which is kind of blew me away and uh, Dreamcast however with the Dreamcast there's a little bit of a caveat um, it only plays like the CDRs um, not the actual real um, games um, so I guess if you have some backups or something like that you can make the backup CDs and actually use it on your computer as if it was a Dreamcast you know uh, you know take what you can get you know and, and they're giving this away for free so it's you know whatever um, so I, I was working with them with this and testing out, you know, shooting some ideas back and forth, you know, I, I'm super thankful for the opportunity that they gave me, uh, in checking this out before it actually hit the public, you know, super happy. Um, but this thing's, it's amazing, you know, like you could build a cheap, you know, little computer and make it as your all CD, um, console you know and uh, get the same effect of something like say the polymega as a cheaper alternative you know for those that aren't interested or do not have the capability to dump that big amount of money on um, it, it's a nice option you know um, this actually has a little bit more potential as well too more than just CD based um, if you hook up like a retro to it you know, a retrode is a way that you can plug physical cartridges into uh, your computer, and that will work, uh, I believe, with the CD as well. So it's, it's going to turn into a all-in-one, you know, freebie, you know, so far anyways. Like, I'm really hoping that they come back with a full-on console, you know, because I'm just ready to back that thing. Um, so I'm going to leave a uh, link to the program down below in the comments. Um, now this is a beta build, so it's not polished yet. Um, there, there's a couple things that really help you along the way, like uh, it will help you find the right emulators to use on your PC to actually play your physical thing. So, you know, um, it, it's a step above um, going the ROM, you know, ISO way because you actually put your own discs in you know which is really nice I like that um, so and, and then once you uh, it'll actually automatically configure everything as well now that's something that 
um, through some of the playtesting that I did with the developers, um, I was having a lot of trouble, you know, and they were looking at it from me being a general um, user, not super in the know for how things work, um, so they kind of simplified it a bit. Um, now, that being said, you also have to get the BIOSes for these systems that you are emulating. So they're not going to show you, tell you exactly how to get that because that's, you know, treading upon some fine lines. So, but I'm sure you can find them. You know, the big thing is you find the right versions and the right uh, wording for each of them. And then you should have no problem. Other than that, it's, it's fairly plug and play. You know, you, you'll see when you click uh, on the, uh, the CD download thing for the Windows app, it's it's fairly straightforward how it is right now and this is just the beta i'm really excited to see how they this thing evolves you know as it goes into further beta and then goes into a full release you know uh i think it's going to be an amazing side project that will bring a lot of attention to the cd once they come back with a full-blown console so check it out tell me what you think and uh we'll see you next time cheers And then bam, automatically, look at that. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> now I could do a screen capture of this, but you know, I, I wanted it to be like, as you can see the way I see it. So PlayStation 1, it runs good. Um, also, this will run backups as well. So I've got a couple backups here because I don't actually have um, right now some Sega CD. Um, I do have them, but I don't, you know what I mean? So let's close this out. I've already hooked up all of these to run on my Xbox 360 controller. So let's see. It says unknown. Now it's all set to automatically load up as soon as you put it in. So auto load, which is a super cool feature. I love it. And it's loading. And here we go. Now this is running on... Um, main. Let's just move this over to my other window here. Ah, Sega CD. And the sound is, is amazing. You know, I, I really wish that I was into Sega CD a lot more when it was actually out. You know, it's it's such an underrated system. <laughs> I'm so sad that it didn't do better than it did. <laughs> uh, one more thing to test out here. Now this one is really cool. I know this is a big thing with uh, Lester from the Thrift Dwellers. He's actually got a a copy that I want them to bring over and test this. I haven't said anything to any of uh, my local guys around this because, you know, I wanted to wait till they're ready to, you know, let everyone know about this before, you know, we actually go ahead with any of this. Just a moment. I am very much looking forward to playing this again and again and again on its original 
format on disk. Yeah, it's in German, but here we have Rondo of Blood for the TurboGrafx 16 CD, or I guess it's the PC Engine CD, but game start. Another game that has amazing music. It's so much better than the uh, Super Nintendo Dracula X. I, I was quite surprised with the difference. Okay. Let's just quickly close that up. So, there you have it. The uh, live test of the CD Win app. Um, like I said, check it out. It's worth your time, it's free, and uh, I think I'm going to have a good time doing some easy streams with uh, this rather than having to hook up my capture card. I can just do it right from my PC. So, see you later. Cheers.